hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back to another video so today we're sitting down for the first time in a while we're sitting down we're going to be talking about something quite important i've noticed or i've heard or this is an ongoing thing within the black the african community the melanated community that um we don't need to wear sunscreen. That sunscreen is for the fairer skin people, it's for the Caucasians, it's for Varungu. But that's actually not the case. So today we're going to be educating the system, educating our people, having a chat, a sit down chat with one another to just educate one another so that we all understand that the sun is not a respecter of man. No matter if you are dark skinned, if you are light skinned, if you're in the middle, if you're wherever, whatever your range of melanin is, the sun is still going to affect you in some way. It may not affect you as much as someone on this end of the spectrum, but it will still affect you. You may not see it now, but you'll see it later on in life. Before we get into the video, we're going to need to put on the right equipment because we're going to be talking about some science stuff. I'm going to put my lab coat on and we're going to put my glasses on and we're going to jump straight into the video. <laughs> so let's get a little bit into the sun, uh, which is the main cause of, I guess, all of this. So there is visible light and there is non-visible light. Visible light is things like the rainbows that you can see and non-visible light is the UVs and stuff like that. I'm going to put a diagram here so that you guys can see. So UV, UVB, UVA, UVC is a part of the non-visible light, which is the light that the sun gives to us. The main types of UV rays that penetrate the earth are UVA and UVB. There's another type which is called UVC. UVC is blocked by most things such as the clouds and the windows so we don't need to worry too much about UVC but UVA and UVB is where our main culprits are. So UVA rays they can penetrate into the skin um, and they're the ones that usually cause premature wrinkling and premature aging because they can penetrate into the dermis of the skin. UVB are the type of rays that don't don't penetrate the skin but they do um, attack or sort of do damage to the superficial layer of the skin so the top of the skin they're the main culprits for the burns that you get so back in the day sunscreens only used to sort of help um, to block UVB instead of UVA as well but now these days you'll find that most sunscreens do cover for both UVB and UVA if you're looking for a particular sunscreen to get make sure that you get one that helps against UVB and UVA because they're both quite bad for your skin so the way essentially that sunscreen works is that sunscreen acts as like a protective layer that's why you need to reapply sunscreen because at the end of the day um, the protective layer can only last for so long and it can only protect against a certain amount of UV rays So it's recommended that when looking for sunscreen you get one that is 30 plus SPF SPF means sun protection factor. When I was doing my research, I found that 30 SPF is accountable for about 97% sun protection. So obviously the higher you go in number, the better protection you get. I wear sunscreen every single day. I would prefer to wear sunscreen and I recommend people to wear sunscreen every single day and use it a part of their daily routine instead of applying it when needed. Okay. Obviously with every scientific paper you need to touch on previous papers that have been done. Today we're going to be touching on, it's not a paper, but a picture that I saw the other day on Instagram and I found some research on this picture. It was a picture of a 69 year old trucker, it was a woman who used to drive trucks and she drove trucks for 28 years and um, she obviously sat in the same seat every time so half of her skin received um, UV rays and the other one didn't for I guess 28 years so I'm going to insert the picture here so you guys can see so this is the effect of 28 years of sun damage with no sunscreen <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> 
I know so, some of you may be thinking you're special. I know some of you may be thinking, you know, you, you're born different or whatever. But sorry to burst your bubble, guys. There is no SPF in your skin. You are not built with sunscreen. You have just been given melanin, which acts as sort of like a barrier, but it doesn't protect you. So you are at a lesser risk, but it doesn't protect you from the sun. You're still able to get burnt. You're still able to get skin cancer. You're still able to get everything that someone with a lighter skin is um, able to get. It's just the fact that you are at a lower risk than them. But that doesn't mean it could never happen which is why you need to protect yourself. We may not see it now um, because our skin is looking great and it has all this elasticity and whatever <laughs> and we're glowing, but we may start to see it later on in life when our skin begins to wrinkle and sag um, a lot more. Because UVA does penetrate the skin more, it gets deep in there, so it really you know, takes its time before it starts manifesting in your life so before it starts manifesting in your life um i recommend for for you to start dealing with it now um rather than later don't start wearing sunscreen later in life when you start to see wrinkles and bags and whatever and you've lost elasticity in your skin most of us with darker skin tones suffer with hyperpigmentation I'm done wearing these, honestly. Hyperpigmentation, um, we all suffer from it. I suffer from it, everyone suffers from it. Um, you get a pimple here, neck minutes changed and it's dark and whatever and you spend all this money trying to fix it, trying to get it to be um, back to its original shade or trying to get it to be lighter than what it actually is. I've got some bad news for some of us who don't wear sunscreen. Hyperpigmentation actually gets worse with because of not wearing sunscreen. Obviously, when you're out in the sun and whatever, in the sun, the UV rays are hitting your skin and stuff, your skin gets darker in response to the sun to protect itself. This means that the darker spots of your skin will get even darker. So your hyperpigmentation will get darker because it's protecting itself against the sun. So in turn, you're sort of undoing everything that you've done because you're trying to treat hyperpigmentation and you're using all this stuff to try and treat it but then you go out and you're not wearing sunscreen and then your skin is compensating for pretty much your lack of care <laughs> i said it i said what i said um and then you know you end up getting darker spots so for some of us who are trying to treat hyperpigmentation the best way to treat hyperpigmentation is sunscreen because obviously we all want to have nice baby Baby, smooth skin at the age of 40 you know we want to keep that standard up that you know aging like wine we want to keep that standard up of aging like wine and we can't do that if some of you are not wearing sunscreen you're letting the team down <laughs> get yourself some sunscreen I know you may be asking what sunscreen do I get to send out I've tried some sunscreens and they leave me looking like a ghost lucky for you companies these days they have our back Back in the day, about five, ten years ago, they, they really didn't care about us. They didn't really have our back in terms of sunscreen and foundation. But times are changing, things are changing. There are products out there that we can now use that don't leave us with a white cast. Like the one I told you guys about, the one that I use, it is tinted. So let me show you guys. Guys, you can't even see, you can see a little bit but by the time it soaks into the skin, you can't even see that it's there. There's plenty of videos on the best sunscreen for um, darker skin people. You can go have a look at them to see which one you want to get. Don't waste your money buying just some random one because you end up looking like a clown. For me, um, the one that I use and the one that I would recommend is again, um, the La Roche Posay, the tinted one. So yeah that's the end of the video i hope you guys have liked the video don't forget to comment down below if you use a sunscreen or not or if you're going to start using the sunscreen from from now on and like the video if you like it share it with your friends and family so they know that we need to keep the standard up <laughs> so i'll see you guys next week i love you guys so much Mwah.